hello and i welcome you to my video classes on concrete technology and today we are mainly discussing about high strength concrete and in in short form it is co it is known as h hsc so myself vishwanath avati and we will see the today's content and today we are mainly discussing in this video introduction part of high strength concrete materials used for high strength concrete some of the advantages disadvantages and applications of uh, high strength concrete so now we'll go through introduction part in the introduction part we have to understand uh, how it is differ from normal concrete and how it is called why so it is called as high strength concrete so high strength concrete may be defined as the the as a concrete with a specified so it is a concrete no no doubt at all it is a concrete but it is specified mainly specified characteristic of cube strength mainly it is characteristic cube strength between 60 to 100 newton per mm square so it is mainly related to strength that's why it is called as a high strength concrete if you take normal concrete it 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 it, it, it is strength will be lower than this and if you want to get higher strength and it is also like no possible but those kind of concretes are called as high strength concrete why because they are specified characteristic strength of the concrete is between 60 to 100 newton per mm square as well as more than the characteristic strength even it is more than 100 also even they are going with ultra high strength concrete if you take the uh, high strength concrete again it has uh, some uh, different types one is uh, high strength concrete and ultra high strength concrete right so i think you understood it is mainly related to strength of the concrete and mainly of compressive strength next is as i told even it is they are going higher values also so higher values means what 80 to 100 mm uh, newton per mm square as well as even higher being used for both pre cost pre cost means what it is what some of the structures which are using for construction activities they are already prepared in the industries are like pre stressed concrete so maybe like you no know, beam or slabs they will prepare in the industry and they will transport to site of the construction right so those are called as a pre cost and even in site to work in site to work means what as exactly where exactly is required on there only they will pour the concrete so it is what pouring of concrete and it is also called as in site to uh, placement of concrete next is some of the uh, applications the main applications of high strength concrete is in site to concrete construction in site to concrete construction or in offshore structures columns of a uh, tall building columns of tall building mainly it is what columns of tall building and long span bridges long span bridges you can see long span bridges and tall buildings right long span bridges and tall buildings and highway structures as well as even highway structures next is the main advantages in the main advantages of high strength concrete is reduction in the size of the compressive element right reduction in the size of compressive element and the amount of longitudinal reinforcement required the amount of longitudinal reinforcement is required so here it is what advantages are one is reduction in the size of the structure as well as reduction in the steel requirement so next so materials used for high strength concrete so mat different materials will be used right so here also we are not it is not differ from normal concrete whatever we are using for materials for normal concrete preparation here also they are using but slight it is not a very high difference only a little difference is there right so we'll know one we'll get to know one by one so first one is water so water is one of the material which is used to mix the different materials right so here water is required in the form of clean fresh and free from contaminations so clean fresh free from contaminations then the main target of water cement ratio is 0.3 to 35 so main target is what 0.3 to 35 even lower than that also so that's what water will take main part so next is cement so cement we are using as a binding material right so here all type of cements are allowed 
all type of cements are they are using but uh, mainly they are preferring for high strength concrete is low C3A cement low C3 cement are desired because it increases the or it improves the uh, rheology right it's mainly one of the property which gives a good property to the concrete so cement content used below 500 kg per meter cube so actually if you are constructing any structure then cement used for that construction should be less than 500 kg per meter cube why because if you use more then it increases the brittleness it may cause some problem and even to reduce the material cost of the concrete even for to reduce the material cost of the concrete because economy or investment is very important if you have a good investment then only you can good construction of the good structure and other more facilities right so that's what uh, cost is also main important next is a use of mineral admixtures so why i used this word because these are the mineral admixtures are added to or replacement of cementious material a supplementary cementious material and even why you are focusing on a, a, a mixing of mineral admixtures because even it is related to solid waste management why because whatever mineral admixtures we are using those are some of the waste products from or byproducts from some of the industries right we require industries as well as we require management of nature so we are reducing the disposal problem as well as replacement of cement cement material why because we know cement makes the heat of hydration from the heat of hydration it reduces the heat as well as carbon dioxide so even we are reducing the carbon dioxide even we are reducing the heat and even we are making the solid waste management by using mineral admixtures so we'll see one of um, uh, what are the different uh, mineral admixtures we are using so one is blast furnace right so we know what you mean by blast furnace blast furnace is one of the byproduct from steel production or steel manufacturing unit right so then fly ash so fly ash is one of the byproduct from thermal power plant and silica fume so silica fume we not studied in earlier videos so but here we have to understand what you mean by silica fume so from which industry it is becoming a byproduct or waste product so actually silica fume is a byproduct from uh, product producing from silica metal so when you are producing silica metal so during the production of silica metal so silica fume as one of the byproduct or waste product and it is very reactive material very reactive pozzolana material so because that's what because of this characteristic they are using as a mineral admixtures and natural pozzolana even natural pozzolana materials are used and mainly it is because of reduction in the production cost reduction of cost of concrete and even to tackle slump loss issues even to tackle slump loss issues so we'll see next next materials which are used for preparation of high strength concrete so next is aggregates we know aggregates aggregates are taken main role right so we'll see what kind of different requirements are required to prepare the high strength concrete so one by one so first i will take coarse aggregate so coarse aggregate are mainly preferable are crushed rock aggregate so if you have a crushed rock aggregate this is very good and mainly higher crushing values if you have higher crushing values of aggregate then it is very good right and maximum size of aggregate for high strength concrete it ranges from 10 to 20 mm or even up to 20 mm or uh, uh, you know, uh, even we are using because based on some conditions because all type of materials are not available in all the places right so if you want to get some certain strength right why i told high strength concrete in high strength concrete again we have some types one is high strength concrete or ultra high strength concrete so and so because it is recent technology some uh, even research are going on this product right so if you want to get a compressive strength of normal strength it is 70 uh, 7 uh, 70 mpa right or 70 newton per mm square then the restriction of aggregate is ranges from 20 to 28 mm even normal it is actually if you want to construct a uh, high strength concrete or if you know if you want to produce high st strength concrete of 70 mpa then no problem we can use maximum size up to 20 to 28 
but if you want to get a higher strength right so if you want to get a higher strength of compressive strength of 100 mpa so here it is what 100 mpa so increase it is increasing the compressive strength if you want to increase then the restriction is you have to use within this only of 10 to 20 so earlier it is 20 to 28 but here it is 10 to 20 right so if you want to again increase the strength right again 25 mpa see from 70 to 100 30 mpa increased same from 100 to 125 25 mpa is increased why because it is a change in the uh, aggregate right so here it is aggregate size maximum we are using from 10 to 14 mm 10 to 14 mm so next we will go for fine aggregate so even fine aggregate takes the main role so here fine aggregate with the fineness modulus about 3 so fineness modulus is how much is required 3 is required right so gives the best workability so if you use the 3 uh, modulus uh, fineness modulus then it gives the best workability and compressive strength even it gives the best compressive strength as well as workability and well graded fine aggregate helps in reducing the reducing the quantity of paste so even it helps the reducing the quantity of paste right so then increase the economy increases the economy and improves the unit weight even improves the unit weight and even the bond also the bond between coarse aggregate and uh, fine aggregate and even other materials also if you use a well graded and a fineness modulus of 3 then it gives the good bonding also so next is use of chemical admixtures earlier it is what mineral admixtures it is now chemical admixtures so chemical admixtures means super plasticizers super plasticizers so mainly plasticizers and super plasticizers we are using for uh, high range water reducer it is also called as high range water reducer should be used to achieve maximum water reduction so mainly it is what reduce of maximum water use right so it is a reduction not increasing it is reducing of water right so even we can reduce up to 30 percent of water requirement if you go for normal concrete preparation how much water is required compared to that we can reduce 30 percent of water for example one liter you are using the water then you can use only of 700 ml of water we can use for construction of concrete right why because 30 percent we can reduce next next we will see advantages of high strength concrete one by one so first advantage or main advantage is reduction of size of compressive element as i told in a first slide it is reduction in size of compressive element right so next is reduction in amount of longitudinal reinforcement so here it is both are very important when you are reducing the size of the structure even it helps the in uh, reduction in the cost as well as even if you reduce the steel content it also helps the reduction of the cost right so next some of the advantages in terms of properties or strength so here high strength concrete provides high compressive strength we know right it is mainly related to high strength concrete so then even it gives the high modulus of elasticity even it gives the high tensile strength even it uh, reduces the creep and greater durability than the normal concrete whatever here we are giving high compressive strength high modulus of elasticity high tensile strength reduces the creep it is comparatively with normal concrete it is comparison with the normal concrete so next we will see disadvantages of high strength concrete so still research is going and mainly most of the disadvantages are due to lack of adequate research research is going on and mainly is research of field condition field condition why because in laboratory we can make the testing but the result in the site is different and we will see some two uh, some disadvantages one is damaged at high temperature means less fire resistance it has a less fire resistance and must be exp expertise in a selection of any gradient so one is what it, it has a less fire resistance and you required more exp expertise you required more knowledge you required more skill to select the material why because i told how many important conditions are there otherwise it will make the 
wrong concrete preparation and you won't get any strength then it will become a normal concrete if you want to get a high strength concrete then you are you have to be very careful for selecting of materials right so next applications of high strength concrete so where exactly we are using and we are using in almost all the places but mainly where they are preferring to use uh, high strength concrete so here one is high strength concrete is typically used in erection of high rise structures so main is what erection of high size structures high high uh, high rise structures so next it has been used in components such as column high rise structures but mainly it is components such as column and mainly it is what for lower floor so if you see if you take the size of the column in lower floor it is bigger and it has a more load why it is a bigger because it carries the more load because if you see uh, first floor it has a only load of first floor right sorry uh, if you take a uh, uh, not first floor if you take a ground floor it has a load of first floor second floor and third floor if it is a third floor building and if you take the first floor it has carrying only load of second floor and third floor if you take the second floor it is carrying the load of third floor so when uh, the floors are decreasing if you go for ground floor it carries the more load and mainly for column in a lower floor they are using high strength concrete high strength concrete so next is high strength as uh, strength also used occasionally used in bridge applications even for bridge construction mainly it is what long span bridges long span bridges they are using next is some recent include parking garage so if you see the parking garage parking garage means what for example those are like a structures and even like they are buildings and mainly they are constructing to make the parking or you can call it is a multi story parking garages or you can like you know, depends on the construction if it may be a one floor it may be a two floor it may be go up to 15 floor but it is multi story uh, parking of vehicles and even they can use for that and even for construction of warehouses warehouses and as well as other highway structures even for other highway structures so next is high strength concrete is typically used for dam construction also even you can use for dam construction you can see here also long span bridge is there and even dam is there so here also they use the high strength concrete even for bridges and mainly for long span bridges and even for pre-cost bridges right i think you understood right so thank you for watching my video